Let's begin a clinical minute. A 45 year old woman comes to doctor due to severe itching from last five days. Her physical examination show enlarged liver and more than two xanthomas on eye. Lab show increase in conjugated bilirubin, cholesterol, and ELP. Which of the following autoantibodies is most likely to be increased in this patient? So the, the age of woman is a 45. So it is a middle aged woman, gender female. So the complaint that he present with severe itching, two xanthomas on eye, and the enlarged liver. So lab, so basically these increase conjugated bilirubin, increase cholesterol and ELP. All of these findings suggest that the uh, female suffer from primary biliary cholangitis. So this is a basically the autoimmune disorder. So this is autoimmune disorder. The primary biliary cholangitis, what happened in the primary biliary cholangitis? So the basic is the destruction of the intrahepatic duct. When intrahepatic duct is damaged, it will impair the bile secretion. The impaired bile secretion will lead to the increased cholesterol level. This will lead to the increased cholesterol level. And it will lead to the formation of xanthomas, which is a sign of that the patient suffers from the uh, hypercholesterol. So, and when they are damaged to intrahepatic duct, it will also impair the. It will also impair the excretion of the conjugated, decrease the excretion of the conjugated bilirubin. So in the serum, the conjugated bilirubin will increase. So the autoantibody that is associated with primary bilirubin cholangitis is anti-mitochondrial antibody. So the rheumatoid factor is present in rheumatoid arthritis. Anti-glutamic acid decarboxylase is present in type 1 diabetes, type 1 diabetes mellitus. While antihistone antibodies, antihistone antibodies are present in drug-induced lupus. The drug-induced lupus. While And anti-centromere antibodies are present in Crest syndrome. 